Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on in this connection. How is your person feeling about you? What would they say to you? Where is this headed? And any other messages we can get from the cards here. I'm going to start by picking cards from the Moonology deck to see what the general energy here is between the both of you. So I already went ahead and pre-shuffled the deck. So let's see what's going on here for real. Okay, communication is key. I feel like a lot of you have just been like dying to have that communication you're just like enough of the 5d enough of the other realms like i just want communication in the 3d realm because i'm a 3d person and i deserve that okay i definitely feel like it's coming it's happening for you okay i'm seeing before the end of like the first half of this year like so if you're watching this in like february um definitely like before the end of june okay or if you're watching this in august before the end of december okay i'm seeing something to do with like gemini placements sagittarius placements sun moon rising venus um i'm seeing that the communication you want is coming i feel like for a lot of you like if this person was to come forward and communicate with you it wouldn't have been as fruitful or it wouldn't have been as like satisfying Okay, so I feel like what's going on here is that like once this communication starts, it's going to be consistent, which is what you want. I don't think a lot of you are going to be satisfied with like, oh, just a hey text, like how are you, like what are you doing, you up, like you know, um, it's like you want more and you deserve more, and I feel like that's exactly what's happening here. Okay, your subconscious mind has, um, you know, infinite intelligence that knows exactly, you know, it follows instructions that you give to it. So. You know, if you're affirming for consistent contact and communication, I'm seeing that your subconscious mind will, you know, receive those commands and obey those commands. And you'll get exactly that. That's why, you know, there's some people out there that just manifest a text and they'll get that and not anything past that. Like, you probably want more than a text, right? And I feel like if you're, you know, if you want more than a text, then you're manifesting exactly that. And I feel like, you know, this person has a lot to say. Like, sometimes, like, you know, when time passes by, if you feel like, you know, time is kind of an issue here, why aren't they, like, you know, talking to me? I feel like this person will have a lot to say. I feel like this person, like, they're literally going to hit you up and be like, I know this is out of the blue and, like, you know, this is blue here. Blue is associated with the throat chakra communication, okay? I know this is out of the blue, but I've been thinking about you. I've been thinking about our relationship a lot. And it might seem like, you know, um, a certain way. Because, you know, for those of you that don't know, or for those people that don't know about manifestation or tarot or astrology, they'll be like, yeah, this person's just like, you know, um, they're just saying it to say it. Like, you know, if they wanted to, they would. But real ones know that um, if we want them to, they will. Okay, right? Because no one has free will except for us in our own reality, right? It's like literally impossible for someone to have free will in your reality because you can never like perceive what, you know, someone else is doing independent of your own observations. Like even if you think that someone is... Um, thinking a certain thing even if you were to look into their brain and see what's going on like if you were to get a brain scan of their brain that's still your perception of what's going on it's literally impossible to observe anything independent of you know your observation that's why no one has free will in your reality okay so that's definitely something i'm seeing here communication is key a new moon in gemini um yeah let's go ahead and pick some more cards we got a time for healing yeah i feel like that is what was needed here this person really needed to heal because i feel like you know and you're working on healing too you're working on self-concept you're working on you know a, like self-concept via affirmations okay i'm really seeing here that this person like needed to go through whatever they did you needed to go through whatever you did for you to want better for yourself for you to raise your standards and this person will come back in and reflect that sorry i use my hands so much I actually have gemini placements apparently gemini placements do that i'm seeing a lot of like mercury energy i'm seeing virgo gemini placements on moon rising venus okay um but yeah this person i feel like needed to heal they are working on healing maybe you're working on healing okay like um and i feel like there's gonna be a time where like your timeline converges and you meet each other that's happening okay and it's not up to fate it's not up to anything outside of you because technically everything is you nothing can actually be outside of you right but uh, you have to believe in your own power okay and i do i do feel like you know the power of love because this person does feel that connection towards you and with you like is gonna reunite you it's gonna bring you together this person has not stopped thinking about you i feel like they religiously check your socials every day if you do that i feel like they're doing the same okay even if you're blocked or they're blocked they're finding some way to stalk you because i do feel like this person has been thinking about you like crazy and one day like it's gonna you know like add up and this person will have no choice but to contact you this person will have no choice but to come back in and you know contact you so yeah 
Um, we also got here, work through your fears, okay? I definitely feel like this person um, has been, you know, fearful about being vulnerable, about giving into this connection, okay? They have a lot of emotional baggage, past traumas that they really need to deal with here, okay? So I'm definitely seeing that this person is working on working through their fears so they can really come forward and be in this in the way that you deserve. I'm also seeing something to do with quality over quantity. I feel like some people have, you know, if you're watching this, something to do with like leaving behind certain things people experiences like maybe something to do with like certain friendship groups or something like you've kind of just been thinking deeper about like okay who do i want in my life like you know again like quality over quantity right like that's always gonna win at the end of the day yeah um let's go ahead and pick some more cards here we got you're very close to achieving your goal i definitely feel like you know this person and you are finally going to be in that committed relationship the relationship you want of course it came with you know some ups and downs some obstacles but you are going to be able to transcend those and be able to you know be in this connection the way that you deserve to be okay and trust when i say that like you know this person wants to come back in and be a much better version of themselves i feel like it satisfies them to see you satisfied Okay, this person does care about you. You're someone that they truly, genuinely care about. Someone that, you know, they take into consideration, right? Like, or they will do that. I, I, apparently, that's like a, that's a new affirmation I've heard. I have never heard of this before. Like, oh, I'm considered. Considered means like, you know, basically respected. Like when, you know, you're not in the same room with this person. How is this person talking about you, right? So that, that's consideration. So that's definitely something I'm seeing here, okay? Let's go ahead and pick some cards from my new deck, Midnight Mystique, to see what else is going on in this connection, okay? Um, how is your person feeling about you? What would they say to you? Where is this headed? Um, okay, justice. That This is exactly what I mean, okay? Fairness, balance, equality. You deserve that. You don't deserve anything less than that. Honestly, like, I feel like if you've been affirming for you to be, like, you know, treated really well, I'm spoiled, I'm romanced, I'm on the pedestal, um, this is exactly what this person's gonna do to you, do with you, okay? Like, they, they really do value you. They value your insight. They really do respect you a lot, okay? And they're gonna come back in and show that. They're gonna be a lot more, um, what do you call apparent about that direct about that like no i like you i want this to go somewhere I, I really do genuinely you know care about you so that's definitely something that i'm seeing is happening here um okay and then we got the fool yeah new beginnings okay i'm also seeing aries libra vibes someone could have these placements sun moon rising venus um yes yeah, scorpio taurus vibes um gemini sagittarius placements sun moon rising venus okay but with the fool card your person wants a new beginning this connection is not over okay this person is still really enthusiastic about this connection still really passionate about you you might be thinking like oh well that doesn't make any sense because it's been a while since you know me and this person have since you and this person have talked um i'm telling you guys they're coming back in stronger and better than ever i'm telling you they will come back in and be the best version of themselves okay they just needed to like you know find themselves a little bit like i'm seeing like you know the self-love journey um is something that they definitely had to like you know um go through and same with you i feel like them both of you are actually mirroring each other's energies maybe some of the things that they're doing are you know are things that you're doing like maybe if you've been like you know traveling or something you'll find out that they've also been traveling okay but i'm definitely seeing that you know this person wants to come back in and do the most give you the most really value you really cherish you okay again quality over quantity i feel like if um you know you are this person or like maybe maybe you were kind of annoyed that this person like maybe you saw that you know they were adding new people on social media and you're just like oh that's giving me the ache and like you know you're like at that point in your life where you're actually deleting people you're deleting certain things you're deleting certain experiences um out of your life so you can get you know newer better more abundant experiences right you're paving the energy for newer better things to come in right so i'm definitely seeing like you know this person is going to be catching on to that energy they're going to be doing the same as well okay um yeah we also got here the emperor yeah okay more aries vibes this person is going to be pursuing you they're going to be in that pursuer like energy okay like if you're the feminine asking about the masculine this person is going to come back in and be a lot more masculine with you okay so that's definitely something that i'm seeing here um we got the six of swords okay this person is ready to leave behind their old life, their old sense of self, okay, their old identity. I'm seeing that a lot of you, you know, you're into manifestation. Maybe you've heard about identity shifts, you know, becoming the best version of yourself. I feel like this person wants to come back in and do the same, okay? Um, I, this person sees you as, like, you know, someone who's really, like, intellectually, you know, 
adapt like or like you know you could have like intellectually challenged them this challenge them they see you as someone who's really smart someone who's built like a really great life for them okay the six of swords you know also has to do with like you know peace like you know they want to um they, they see you as someone who's very peaceful someone who you know cares about maintaining the peace i'm also seeing some libra placements on moonrising venus you know they see you as someone who's fair and balanced and you know um yeah, they, they have a lot of respect for your values, moral standards. Like, that's a big thing that they haven't really been seeing in, like, you know, anyone and everyone that they've been meeting. They're, they really respect you for that. They're just like, wow, like, you know, this person, they, they know what's up here, okay? Um, we got the King of Wands, okay? Fire sign energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Like, this person wants to come back in and pursue you. This person wants to do, like, you know, the most for you. Like, they do value you. They do cherish you. They do care a lot about you. They're very passionate about you, passionate about this connection. They do see you as someone that, like, you know, very inspirational you've inspired them to do more to be more um you know to do more with their life to like you know just be a much better version of themselves and like they like that they like who they are around you i feel like you know you really bring out something within them um that is just not brought out with other people and like you know they really do value you for that um i feel like this person i feel like I don't know, I keep saying I feel like, I mean, I know for a fact this person likes you, I know for a fact this person cares about you, um, but you know, they need to like, be a little bit more secure in themselves, I feel like you've really been working on yourself, you've really been working on, you know, creating a more secure attachment style, I feel like this person kind of needs to change something about their attachment style, I feel like someone here was anxious, the other person was avoidant, and um, you know, like, the, the best thing is to like, you know, have like, be, be balanced right like we have a healthy attachment style i definitely feel like you know that's something that this person is working on this person um i feel like someone's seeking therapy or someone's you know getting some kind of help in some way shape or form or like you know do doing something to really enhance and improve their life and i feel like you'll feel that energy like you'll feel like okay this person is changing healing improving um because they can feel your energy when you do that i definitely feel like you're very magnetic um you know you're magnetizing your person to you you're very appealing because you work on yourself a lot you're appealing to a lot of people I mean, even if they, they don't say that out loud like they are very inspired by everything that you are you know things that you're doing sometimes people's egos can like you know stop them right but that doesn't mean they don't feel it and when i say ego i mean fear like think of how many times you found someone to be really attractive or someone that you really liked or had a crush on but you were too scared to like tell them because you didn't want to you know appear to be like too stalkery or clingy or simpy or whatever but like you do like you know admire them and have a lot of respect for them right like that's exactly how this person feels about you Let's go and pick some love oracle cards to see what other messages we have here. Here we got, please don't give up on me. I'm healing myself. I really, really feel like this person needed some major healing. Okay, they really needed to let go of certain things so that they won't bring that into your relationship. It's actually better to have, you know, some delays and have the relationship be good, steady, long lasting rather than just rush into things, you know, get that like sort of intermittent, you know, contact that will only satisfy you like you know superficial on a superficial level surface level or in the meantime right it's better to have something more long term than that right so yeah um we also got here you are irreplaceable there's no one in the world like you okay like seriously this person has not been able to find anyone like you they definitely think very highly of you they think they think the most of you they think you're amazing they think you're just like wow like a godsend like did you just descend from the heavens or something like um and like i feel like you felt a real intense connection with them and they still feel that i feel like for a lot of you you're paying too much attention to the time that is you know passed by in the 3d world although when it comes to connection when it comes to love you know that transcends time because think about it think about like you know how many people you've liked or thought about even if it's been a while since you've talked uh talked to them or even like you know um connected with them right in the 3d that doesn't mean like you know you stop thinking about them right like uh, certain things just uh, uh, transcend time certain things just like transcend you know like time and space like the time space continuum okay so that's definitely something that i'm seeing um is going on here like this connection like they feel it really strongly and deeply that's why it doesn't matter how long it's been since you've talked okay it doesn't matter how long it's been since you have you know, like seen this person okay i've had people that i haven't talked to in a while hit me up and like send me the sweetest message and i'm like wow i didn't even know you th thought about me um you know and like they would remember these things even if like we connected years ago <clears throat> or months ago and they would just start like you know telling me like oh my gosh like 
I, I've actually had someone say, I'm smitten by you. I'm so into you. And I was like, wait, like we barely even talk. This person like barely even watched my social media, even though we were connected. And yeah, my point is you guys like energetically, there's just so much going on. You cannot limit yourself to the 3D when there's so many other dimensions available for you to tap into. Okay. Speaking of that, I do want to let you know that I offer uh, manifestation coaching. I also have a self-concept challenge going on in Patreon where I give you self-concept affirmations to manifest. So to manifest your specific person. Um, I also have a science challenge going on where I give you signs to look for to manifest your specific person. And it, it, this is kind of like a using the harnessing the power of the collective to amplify and accelerate your individual manifestations. And I post a lot of like neuroscience content and just, you know, success stories. Um, so if you're interested in that, you know, check out the description box below where you can sign up for the Patreon. And yeah, I will go ahead and end the video right here. Thank you so much. Love and light.